Hi boys and girls. Today I'd like to do a writing mini lesson with you. So I have my illustration done here. I've also gone ahead and labeled and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but I also have all of our sight words listed to the side. So as you know, when you're writing at home, it's really helpful to have our sight words close by to refer to. So let's just go through them and review. We'll read them together here. So I like to can me see and play. Good. So another word that I'd like to introduce this week is the word the. The word the. So it is spelled T-H-E. So as you know, our sight words are very tricky often to spell and to read because they're not always pronounced the way that we would expect. So the is one of those kind of trickier ones that we just need to practice and um, eventually we'll memorize and know in a snap. So as you can see, and an example, excuse me, for the word the, my story is about me and Miller playing in the snow. So that would be an example of using the word the in a sentence. Um, or I like to go to the park, something like that. So I thought it would be nice for you boys and girls to practice um, writing a story about something that you did over the break or over the holidays. Um, and you could share that, you can illustrate it, label, and write a sentence to go along with it. And feel free to send me a picture. That would be great to see how hard you're working at home as well. So I have already labeled me. We know that we need to label ourselves in our story first. So I have N-E for me. I've labeled Miller's name. I know his name in a snap. So I've written that above him. I have an S and, a S and an N for sun. So if I take my time and say sun, I hear those two letters. Tree, t, r, e. So I have tree and tree. Now, um, now that I've illustrated, I've labeled, I want to write my sentence. So I think my sentence will be me and Miller played in the snow. So the word me, I know me in a snap. If you don't, again, it's nice to have our sight words close by so you can refer to. So I know me is M E. So it's been a while. It's been a good few weeks since we've all been together, unfortunately. So a quick reminder to use those finger spaces between your words too, okay? So me and, oh, I almost looked, it's not our sight word yet, but soon it will be <laughs> me and, and, hmm, a, and maybe an A, not really sure, that's okay. I'm gonna put an A, and, I hear an N, and, d, d, D. That was one of our new letters just before the break. So D for and. And this is another reminder for mom or dad or whoever is working with you throughout the day um, or evening that when we do write our words, we just write the sounds that we hear and it's okay that they're not spelled perfectly. So you may see that throughout the video and, and that's okay. We just try our best. So me and Miller, so another finger space. And again, I know his name in a snap. So Miller, just like you may know your brother or sister's name and how to print that. All right, so me and Miller played. So I have the word play. We know that the word play is a sight word. So I'm going to write the word play because the word play is in the word played. Now, if I change the word play to played, d, D. Remember, we're pretending that we're playing the drums with our thumbs. I'm gonna add a D. So me and Miller played in, in, eh, eh. So the word, the letter, excuse me, the letter I, in, and I hear an N at the end. So now, another reminder that when we're writing, it's important to go back and reread what we've already written so that we some, sometimes if we we get so excited that we're writing our words that we'll often forget a word so we go back and reread just to make sure that we're not missing anything so me and miller played in the so my new sight word this week 
T H E for the played in the snow. N O. I hear the letter O. All right, so one more time. Let's see if we can read it together. Me and Miller played in the snow. Good, and do you remember what we put at the end of a sentence? A period. Good. So now I know some of you are already writing more than one sentence and you are welcome to put more details and add something else um, along with your story. So if you decide to write about maybe something over Christmas, over the holidays that you did, um, maybe something that you did with your family, if there's more that you want to say, you are certainly welcome to go ahead and write more than what I did. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick refresher because I know it's been a few weeks. So please, if you have a chance, do that and take a little picture for me and send it along. I'd love to see all your hard work. Thanks, boys and girls.